I am Isis. Dear Beloveds, I come to speak with you today, full of love and pride in my heart for you all, as I watch all the endeavours you undertake daily. One thing I want to say here is relax, breathe, it is not a race. You will make it steady as you go, please, with your ascension. There is no time limit. There is no door or gate that will close unless you decide to close down. Relax with your ascension. Many are already on the new earth. However, as in all areas of life, there are already people who are faster than others, and it just doesn't matter. The earth has reached a major target in her ascension plan. This has been achieved by the tremendous outpouring of love offered by the light force of earth and the coexistence with all life forms on earth. In order to begin your ascension process and or to continue to progress, you must constantly be aware of the light that exists within your being. It is such a powerful tool, stronger than you could ever imagine. I ask you to trust me when I say that each of you are powerful beings. I know that when you are living on the earth, many of you feel restricted and fearful, but the light that exists within you is your powerhouse and your ticket to ascending into the heavens. As you begin your ascension, focus on radiating your inner light, filling each part of your life, life with light, creating a heaven on the earth. Even when you are ascending and are mastering your inner being, your light is still so important. Your light supports your being. As your light increases, so your inner power increases light, is like your physical spine and your backbone. It is essential to experiencing life as light is essential for supporting your spiritual growth. These changes can cause intense anxiety and stress as your body mind complex registers and there is something not quite as it used to be and that the fabric of reality as it has been for thousands of years is now changing very rapidly this can cause deep inner depression as the being feels out of control for the purpose of linear time is a control mechanism. You always knew how and why things would happen and within a given time frame. Now you are moving into a seemingly random field where the laws of synchronicity and resonance are what create reality and these operate outside of linear time. I, Isis, spread my rings, rings around you as I wish this freedom for you. I would wish for you that you would awake each day in peace, center yourself firmly into the enfolding warmth and security of love, simply by breathing yourself down into the arms of the loving oneness of all being and creation and then feel the freedom 
that lies there in the heart, in the center, in the core of creation and connection. Feel the freedom that knows no doubt, no fear. Feel the certainty of being, of love, of true essence. Feel it and let it permeate your consciousness so that you are saturated in faith, a solid knowing of your own precious place in all that is, a wondrous solidity, solidity that lies underneath all of the shadows that play across your life. Bring all yourself into this core each morning without fail. Know it as home. Know it as your center of truth and peace. Blessings of love. Also, my beloveds, I wish for you to remember Mother Earth is always there for you to sit upon and receive her energies when you need them and return them to her. Returning to nature is always healing. Please be aware, beloveds, that what you are experiencing is all part of the reunification and ascension process that you are amid. Your instinct. Nature is slowly being replaced by your intuitive nature as you tap into the wisdom of your sacred mind and gain the ability to interact with your higher self and your guides and your angelic helpers. The ascension process is an energetic actualization of the truth and that is of a diamond nature that sits at the seat of your heart. What is the experience of heaven on earth like beyond fifth dimension? It is more grand, more effluent. Group mind, group soul choices are typically found to be more interesting than individual ones. Service to others rather than self-service is the norm simply because it is more joyful experience. Love as both, a concept and an experience exists as an expanded reality because there is a greater reality to include, finer vibrations, frequencies and light emanations subtle delightful as compared to the grosser expressions of light of the lower dimensions these are only a few examples there are many more after all has been said done and explained heaven on earth is simply a choice an awareness in small or grand scale it is available to you right now whether you seek to embrace it as a personal experience or a global one, it is also a choice. My choice today is the same one I have always made. It is to experience heaven on earth on all levels, all realities, all planes of existence, all kingdoms within and without, in the past, present and future, with you and with your future generations, physically or otherwise, with consciousness and with all dimensions and densities and with every individual and collective heart that I became aware of. Have I missed anyone? <laughs> Do not be dismayed if your past is becoming only a hazy memory especially the painful memories you experience during this lifetime. It is time to heal and release the past, beloveds. 
this is no longer serves you to delve into the past lifetimes in order to heal yourself or to try to understand why you are acting or reacting a certain way in the present. As you eliminate old habits, beliefs and action, you gradually return to harmony within the accepted spectrum of polarity, duality. With each frequency level you attain, you leave behind those situations, people and things that no longer are compatible with your new level of awareness and resonance. It often seems as if you have stepped through a new dimensional doorway and a portion of the past is fading away. This is why so many of you are experiencing the loss of friends and or family members and why you are changing jobs or beginning a new career. Many of you are finding that the work you do or your creational, recreational pursuits, hobbies, many things that interest you in the past are less satisfying for they do not fit into your ever-expanding, evolving reality. The multi-dimensional doorways of the past are closing and the doorways of the future are opening at a faster and faster pace as the process of ascension accelerates. The fear of change has been a major controlling factor within your conscious awareness for a very long time. In the beginning of your journey into density, you sought a great variety of self-expression and change and you delighted in each new creation. It has only been during your earthly experience that you have forgotten that you were a co-creator endowed with a full measure of creative abilities and that you have a direct link to the power source of creation via the river of life and light. Hand it over, hand over your life to the greater connection you have with all that is, was and will be. Hand your life over to your own high spirit, the part of you that is deeply connected with the greatest and highest, the good, the all, the one. Give over your frustrations, your anger, your struggles. Give it all over and just let it be. Take a deep breath and release everything that is not now. All else is gone from you. All else is released as you dip down deeply into the joy and peace of this moment. Beloveds, you are a multi-dimensional being who is in for an amazing treat when you do decide to enter New Earth Consciousness for the oneness, the light body, it does begin to grow. The limitless, the unconditional love and so much more. I am Isis. Thank you for listening to me tonight and I am always at your service. I send so much love to you always. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, send so much love to you always too. And thank you so much for being here tonight. I love you all so much. Namaste.